Uh, good morning, everybody. Hope you had a good fourth. Oh, my day was good right up until the firecrackers. No fires or anything, but this guy, this handsome son of a bitch right here, really doesn't like him. Quivering on the couch so bad, I wrapped a quilt around him. I can't go watch the fireworks because of this guy. Put the put the blanket around him, holding him tight in his heart. <laughs> He is so scared you can feel his heart. I'm sorry to rat you. I'm sorry to tell him, tell the world, but you feel it in his paws, his ears, man. I couldn't move from the couch. Fireworks went off to like 10. And then I get him to bed. Other dickheads kept shooting off fireworks all around the fucking trailer park and all around the neighborhood in town. So this guy kept trying to dig his way in the one inch gap between the bed and the wall. I picked him up twice, get him under, get the blanket on, get around him, try to calm him down, whisper to him, say he's a good boy, and he's just, I mean, he's, his heart's racing so bad. Just when I get under control, boom, somebody else had set off a fucking firecracker. So, I got about four hours of sleep. Eh. But, lo and behold, still got to do this for you. So, I had to write this down. I saw this uh, post. This was on Facebook. Hot, uh, it was a meme, how to be a hot wife beginner's challenge. Confess you fantasize about other men. Give your husband a hand joe while describing an old hookup. Make your husband jerk himself while describing an old hookup. You know, if these hookups were with a chick, then, uh, eh, I, could, I could do that. Hmm. Send husband naughty pics while he's away. Nothing wrong with that. Like, hey, dude. Hey, thinking about you. That's always hot, right? You got a chick. Mm. Had a girl with her heel pulling the back of her panties. But I don't know how she got that picture, but it was nice. Begin wearing anklet. That one confuses me. So you'll see as we go further on the list here. What is the anklet? So anklets is something a hot wife or a cheating wife uh, would be more appropriate as we go on. So, so if you want to bang people's wives, like I, then I guess look for an anklet. She's got a wedding ring. Hmm. She's married. Dang it. Ooh, the anklet. She's down to F and tell her husband about it. Hmm. All right. Well, out with husband point, point out men. You want a bone. Nothing insulting about that. Doesn't say anything if this goes both ways. Uh, open relationship. This is a sounds like a one-sided open relationship like uh, Will Smith and Jada to me. Flirt openly in front of your husband. Right, because nothing says I respect this man more than just him flirting with every guy when you go out. Flirt openly when husband's not around and tell him about it. Mm -hmm. Further humiliation. Go to a club and dance provocatively with other men while your husband watches. Right, you go to a club, it's $10 a drink, or $15 probably some places, plus the money to get in. And again, yeah, just you work with these people. I mean, this is a town, I think we got 35,000 people here. Everybody runs into everybody sooner or later. Sure, go to the club, dance with them so that everybody knows your wife's a hoe. I, I, I had an old boss whose wife would after a few beers would uh yeah i'd be showing her boobs to all his co-workers um he didn't seem to like it much and the overall respect that people had for him wasn't there uh let's see with his help create a dating profile begin with his help create hey buddy i'm gonna advertise myself out there even though this wedding ring you just signed a contract says if i leave you at any time I want, I get half your stuff for the rest of eternity, but I'm also going to F other dudes now, and I want your help coming up with the best dating site imaginable. Again, no, he doesn't have a dating site, just her. Begin sexting, sending pics to other men with husband's knowledge. Okay, so now the pics aren't special because you're not the only guy getting them. Have your husband help you pick out and buy lingerie for the other men to see. So again, it comes out of your wallet. You're the guy, you're you're the one going, working your fingers to the bone. 
And now you get to spend that money on sexy clothes she's going to wear for other dudes. Carry a condom in your purse just in case and make sure your husband knows. Okay. Well, so some of the comments, obviously a lot of people didn't like it, but now keep in mind this isn't twatter, so, so the likes aren't going to be as high. But Mark McConnell, when men are competitive by nature, all that situation does is make them strive to keep winning her back or reclaiming her. The, dude in this, the dudes in this thread are clearly showing either how small they are. Right. Letting other dudes plow your wife is just a sign that you have a big cock, right? Any guy whose wife isn't cheating on him probably has a small cock. That's how that works. Okay, good logic, buddy. Is insecure, right? Because, you know, secure men love just coming home, locking lips with a chick who, you know, she's got other men's semen and pubic hair between her teeth, you know? When, I, when, I, when you go to her office party and you shake hands... With their male co-workers, you just... A, a man who's secure in himself loves knowing they have her shit under their fingernails. Or know they're inferior to begin with. Six likes. Emily Ferguson. Well said. Men have no problem cheating. Generalizing a bit, aren't we, sweetheart? Um, I believe the stats show men and women uh, cheat in equal numbers. We're both pigs. Everybody's pigs today. Hmm. But not all of us, right? They couldn't handle their partner cheating. Cheating, oh, yeah. And most women can't handle their partner. Again, this whole thing is about her cheating, not him. Her private co well, if you're going to cheat, you better keep a secret, man. I'm just going to assume you're cheating, so I'm going to have you buy me lingerie and start a dating profile. The next comment from Mark. If they truly had pride and confidence, they would know that no matter what she does... He can show her why he's the man in her life. Guys that don't keep competing for their wife or girlfriend become complacent. Those are the same guys that put on, start putting on weight and doing less and less for her because they feel, feel they have already won. Yes and no on this. I agree. Nobody should be putting on weight, man or woman, right? You know, because I'm fat phobic as hell. And so... Yeah, obviously you want to keep being the best version of yourself that you can be, but that goes both ways. I don't want her putting on a thousand pounds either. Sorry, sweetie, if you're watching this. Um, you're not. You stay fit. I like it. Oh, alarm. Anyway, so, but uh, this feeling of already won, you know, this is where people... I think a lot of relationships make a mistake. About a year ago, my buddy Mo had a good piece on this podcast when he was talking about infatuation, right? You meet each other when those first six months, you just can't keep your uh, hands off each other. And that actually is a type of, your brain actually releases a type of drug for physical attraction to somebody. But that fades, that drug becomes. And then you, uh, Mo, if you're watching, drop it in the comments, buddy. I can't uh, remember, what do you say? Dopamine. After six months... That's when the real love takes place. You know, the everything slows down, the fire slows down, and you're going to go, and now it's a slow burn, and you have to realize, and it's not just about doing less. It's, it's, it's also just because you're so much more relaxed around each other. I get the best sleep of my life when I'm over at my girlfriend's house, and because I'm just so damn comfortable. So that doesn't mean, oh, well, oh, well, if she goes and bones another guy, then she'll come back and be hot. Not necessarily, man. Yeah, so this comment from the very handsome, very well-spoken, very muscular trailer park king, Dusty Barker. Yeah, dude, you're crying on the couch while the bull plows your wife, both making fun of your little wiener while you cry and get to eat his yogurt out from her and raise his biological kids because you're the real man amongst men here, homie. Lacey. Oh, how... Uh, another old lady jumped in. How to be a cuck. 13 likes. She beat mine. Or, I mean, Dusty Barker's. <laughs> Emily, your comment equals conservative men. Three likes. Lacey respond. Your comment equals, I'm a slut. <laughs> My finishing. I was like, wow, I was a Bernie bro and I am liberal on most issues. But if paying all the bills for a tramp, getting railed all over town is what it takes to stay liberal. Count me now as a Shiite conservative. 18 likes. I win the internet. No, but really, I mean, 
God dang, man, people just can't understand why people are cheating all over. They're encouraging cheating. They're encouraging one partner cheat. Mm. That part is the woman, of course. Uh, I wonder if these people know actually the real definition of what a cuck is. Uh, I had a girlfriend who was a biologist. She explained this to me. It actually comes from birds. So, which, you know, cuckadoodle do, right? <sighs> or is it cluck? Ah, who cares? But, so this is how birds operate. And people are starting to regress and do this now. Is, you know, say whatever birds are floating around in this trailer park here up in the trees. Uh, an alpha bird comes in. He bangs all the young hot females. Right? And he just takes off. He takes off. That's the alpha bird. He's got the good genetics. He's handsome. He's tall. He's, he's got a bigger wingspan, right? And no shit, that's when the other male birds that live in the area who don't uh, get to mate, they don't get to have kids, they would come in and they, bring, and they now take care of that female and her baby and the alpha's baby. And they bring her worms and food and build a nest for her and her kid or baby birds, and then only when she's old enough that she can't procreate, maybe they'll have sex. That is what we're seeing with, that is the type of courage. Be a bitch. I want to marry me, okay? Put a ring on this finger. Put up half your shit on this paper that says, I can leave anytime I want and take, you know, anywhere from 30 to 50% alimony and 10 to 30% child support, up to 80% potential and you have to, even, even for another man's kid, you have to pay child support, build my nest, build the house. And whenever Alpha comes by, he gets to throw a bone in me. Yeah, I, I'm going to have his kids. I'm going to have his offspring. When I have his offspring, that's when I want you, Mr. Nice Guy, to come in, buy me a house, buy me dinner, start dating. Even though Alpha Bird never provided one thing for me except a hard D and some splooge that's all he needed to offer but you cuck bird now that i have alpha bird's baby come in build my nest build, give me a home give me food use all your hard work to take care of me and alpha's kid oh fyi i'm gonna keep boning alpha boy every time he comes around and yeah names proven i mean this is why ladies you know, marriage rate just before COVID, um, one in 500 men got married that year. And you can't blame COVID anymore because everything's opened up. And I think it's one in 600 getting married this year. Next year, it'll probably be one in 700. This is why I just saw the meme and I'll probably do a video on it because uh, it's a great story. Bunch of women went to a bar club for an open dating thing where you go from table to table, you know, and meet everybody. And, uh, no men showed up. Literally not one man showed up. Why? Because we're sick of this shit, man. No, no self-respecting guy is gonna do this, okay? Only, only the biggest cucks and simps. And you don't respect those guys anyway. Otherwise, you wouldn't be having them pick out your lingerie while you go wear it for another man. See ya.